Hello everyone, Fishing with Austin here. I'm going to show you today how to install a trolling motor using toggle bolts. These toggle bolts are typically used in drywall anchors. Well, I can't get all the way up far underneath my bow to get a wrench, you know, and a nut and a washer and everything to get this under here. So I'm going to show you how I managed to get my trolling motor mounted. I already have some toggle bolts on here, but they're kind of rusted, so I figured I'd go ahead and replace them. They've lasted me two years with no issues. The troll motor is on here, nice and tight. It hardly moves, and I've run into plenty of things with it. These things hold up really good. I went to Lowe's and I bought the most heavy duty ones that I could. You know, they hold 265 pounds in drywall, a thousand pounds in a con concrete block, a quarter inch toggle bolts. They're pretty heavy duty. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the side plates off my troll motor, and then we're gonna get the old toggle bolts out. We're gonna put the new ones in with some silicone sealant so it can kind of mitigate the, uh, the rust and corrosion and stuff in there. I'm gonna show you some of the tools you'll need. You'll need two packs of these from Lowe's or a hardware store. At Lowe's, they're about $3 a bag, which I think is really good. Um, you're gonna need a drill. You're gonna have to have a Phillips head attachment on there. And to cinch it down, to tighten it down, you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. And then, of course, you're going to need your silicone compound for sealing. Watch me in the morning. You can see the old uh, toggle bolts that I have in there. They're rusted, they're corroded really bad. And with the rust and the corrosion, I'm not really gonna trust that. I'd rather replace them and not have them snap on me and my troll motor go in the water. Yeah, let's go ahead and get them out. So the bolt still looks pretty healthy. That's a pretty good sized bolt. When you have four of them in there on the troll motor, it's gonna hold it down really good. Okay, so good thing we took these bolts off because they're rusted and corroded. They were well on their way to being snapped. So now what we're left with is our old anchors. And now we just gotta find a way to get these out. Typically, you're gonna want a gasket or a mat to put down. I don't have one right now, but I wanna go fishing. And, you know, also part of the reason that there is corrosion in the first place is that I don't have a rubber mat, you know, a gigantic gasket to put underneath your bracket. You know, a, a mat serves for two purposes, which is protecting your deck against your troll motor bracket hitting it and tearing it up, and also to create a seal and a bond between the troll motor bracket and the deck and it also prevents corrosion getting inside your deck. So whenever I um, get a deck, I'll just unscrew these and screw them back in. It's easy. So now we have our holes. Oh, we have one more hole. One more hole. I'm sure there's easier ways to do this and there's gurus out there, but this is how I'm doing it. Too bad. Too bad, so sad. We have our holes ready, ready to go. Now we're gonna get our new gear out, get it ready and staged, and I'll show you how to set them up. This, when you go in the hole, you can pull one of these up, push one down, right? This is going to allow it inside the hole. Once you get down in the hole, you're going to straighten it out, pull this, all the way down and that's what brings the metal plate all the way up to underneath the deck you put your bolt in there your bolt will go down and it will screw this in this and this will sandwich together with the bolt and it'll create a nice tight grip so let's go ahead and do it now one two three four so the back four. Yep. 
so it's these four holes, right? So what you're gonna do is this. You're gonna push this down. All right, it's in there. If these are even, you may have to twist it and get a little funny with it, but these are even, that means it's flat up under the deck, all right? You're gonna push this down and get it as tight as you can. And then what you do with these is break them off. So now this plastic piece is holding that metal plate up under there. And all I gotta do is put a bolt in there and tighten it down. You wanna make sure it's as straight as you can get it. Pull it in there, snap it once, snap it twice, done. Got your nice new shiny bolts, quarter inch. Put it down in there like this. And get it in there. I think I had to hammer it in last time. Just because it was a tight fit and these are big fittings, but cool. So now it's even because the top is even. Just like that. We're gonna pull against it. Push down. Push and pull at the same time. Break once, break twice. Get in there. It's that easy. All right, these are flush. You can put the bolts in, right? Don't push down on them. But you can put the bolts in to line up your holes. I like to do a cross pattern. Yep, just like that. All right, just like that. And then boom, okay? Now, you're not gonna drill these tight, 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 because you don't wanna strip it. I only brought the drill, so I want to crank with the screwdriver for 30 minutes. See, tighten down. I'm gonna do a little bit of a star pattern, do a little zigzag. I did this corner over here, I'm gonna do the opposite corner over here. See, it's already tight. Do this corner over here. And then this corner over here. See, you can rock the whole boat with it. And that's how you install a troll motor mount with toggle bolts. Like I said, I would prefer to, uh, oh, I didn't put the silicone on them. I wonder if it's still good. I don't know. I'll do it around the tops. So here, we're gonna back out the screw. Silicone compound around the threads of it, just to help mitigate corrosion and offer some form of protection for everything. Everyone's gonna do this differently. And there's 
keyboard experts out there that are gonna know better and know a better way. But this is how I'm doing it and I'm doing the best with what I got, you know? And it's not something you do every day, you know? Final torque. I didn't torque them in a star pattern though. How you doing? She's tight. All right, now you put everything back on like nothing ever happened, okay? I'm gonna go easy on these. And there you go. She's ready to go fishing now. Um, yeah, this is a pretty handy repair, pretty easy fix. I mounted this troll motor with about $5. This is a $5 troll motor mount. So if you have any questions or anything, just feel free to leave it in the comments. I'm dropping my Instagram and my TikTok in the description. So if you want to reach out, send me a DM. Any videos you want me to do next, any boat repair, boat servicing, just let me know. Also, thank you for watching. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.